Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Conscious Reconstruction. And this is your host with the most. And we got Ash in the building. Charging hey. the headphones. <laughs> got Jones. What's up? Y'all get more enthusiasm. But I ain't got it today. But we, I don't even know what we got for science. What's happening in the world, Jones? Hey, man. Is it Crystal. good science? Can I become a robot finally? Because this body shit is trash. No, See, if I was a cyborg, I wouldn't have cared about none of that. I wouldn't be aching. None of this. You see? More reasons why I should be a cyborg. Just the universe is providing for me. Like, hey, bruh. See how achy you are right now? None of that. You'd be perfectly fine. No, see, what's going to happen is I'm just going to keep telling you about stuff. And you just go go get all that shit and put it together. <laughs> no, what I'm telling you is they're going to make a cyborg. Watch. <laughs> I'm not even going to have to put it together. They're going to do something. it. I got, I got something in there for that. A little something. I did find it. I did manage to dig something up about it. What you got? Um, I'm not talking about that right now, though. We're going to get there. Uh, I'm going to start right there. So fun little fact. Mm-hmm. Um, in any given year, humanity has a one in 14,000 chance of being wiped out. Any given year? Yep. I'm with that. I bet you are. <laughs> I, I just bet you are. <laughs> Damn, I could die at any moment. It was lit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 2020. Well, Help. <coughs> what are we going to do this year? We going to fire the nukes finally? Nah. Mm, maybe next year. <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm not gonna go towards the death. I'll wait till the sweet death comes to me. <laughs> Greet him with open arms. I right. suck Dex's dick just because he's so dumb. <laughs> uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> um, probably taste rotted. Nah, that shit gonna taste like whatever you want to taste before you die. I don't think that's how death works. I think so. I feel like I'd definitely do it for me just because I'm a fan. <laughs> um, I don't think death cares. Mm-hmm. I think death has fans. Yeah, and I'm I'm one of them. All right. All right. So um, that's yeah, that's Ash. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, NASA, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get back to life here, you know. Um, NASA is completely confused in the world right now. They don't know what the fuck going on on Mars. <laughs> they got a uh, rover over there. It's mm-hmm. been there for about seven years, rolling around. This rover breathes. And breathes? Yes. I guess what, basically what it does is it takes in the atmosphere, like you would do as you're breathing. But it analyzes what's in the atmosphere and, like, breaks it down. And oh, okay. So you can, yeah. So it breathes in there, and it breaks down the atmosphere, right? Mm-hmm. And most of Mars is just carbon dioxide, CO2, right? <coughs> but they found that uh, it also has nitrate and oxygen. And they have no fucking idea what's creating this oxygen. They never know what's going on with Mars. And Argon. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of gas going on over there. So they kind of lost in the world right now. They don't know what the fuck going on. They like, they trying to figure it out, but they ain't got no good idea. You know what they could figure out about oxygen? Hmm? How to keep Earth's oxygen clean. I mean, they could. You know. <laughs> <laughs> just that small little thing. Yeah, you know, I'm just saying, niggas are so Priorities. Well yeah. My little girl's priorities is a little bit better <laughs> than NASA's. <laughs> <laughs> Me better. Yeah. Like she's super worried about Christmas and Thanksgiving. <laughs> and she really thinks that like after Thanksgiving it's Christmas, right? It's not how that works. Mm-mm. It is. <laughs> <laughs> For a kid, that's exactly how it feels. Like, yeah, all, that shit like all right, what's matter. next? <laughs> yeah, kids follow the retail chain. Yeah. Retail pretty much skips Thanksgiving. Unless you have food in your store. <laughs> True. It's like, oh, Halloween, Christmas. <laughs> she knows what's important to her. Yeah. It's food and presents. <laughs> I support that. Okay. Um. So, eh, I don't want to talk about that. More NASA stuff. They found out about us going into space. NASA's trash. Blood. So, we got to figure that out. 
What did you say about blood? When you mumbled it. Uh-huh. When we go into space, I was being in space for, uh, they tested uh, astronauts that were on the space station for six months. Uh-huh. And they had, what do they call it, stale blood. And their blood flow was reversed in their jugular, left jugulars. And having stale blood basically means your blood isn't moving. And when Ooh. your blood doesn't move, it clots. And then, you know, clots lead to yeah, terrible all shit. types of shit. So now they got to figure that shit out. So us in space just ain't working out too well right now. These niggas are NASA, man. Again, can we start to fix the planet or no? Nah? <laughs> can we start there? The more nah, you that y'all know, tell I me about keep space. keep telling you they leaving, bro. They you don't keep care. T- okay, the fact that you just keep telling me that they leaving. Space is now telling them that it don't want them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even just me no more. Space is also like, we don't want you. Guess what? We just going to stop your blood. We gonna, we, you going to pump space backwards. Space going to block us. You yeah. right. <laughs> so I'm just saying that space don't want us. We're going to try to respond to the conversation in Messenger. And it's going to be like, can I reply to this conversation no yeah. more? Yeah, the place that been blocked here. We're like, nah, fuck this. We're just going to do whatever. Then we out. No. <laughs> All if right. your blood clots in your fucking neck, yes, you die. Yeah. And then there's like the biggest danger is that uh, the blood clots shoot into your lung, and you'll have a pulmonary, pulmonary. Uh, I forgot the rest of it. Basically, your lungs just go. So is it because there's no gravity? I'm assuming that's what it is. They don't explain what's causing it because they don't really. Understand. I mean, the human body is adapted to function with gravity, so a yeah. pump probably. I'm assuming it's the gravity. I mean, our heart pushes, but it also is helped by gravity. Yeah. So our hearts. Because like, if we hang upside down, yeah. that'll fuck us up. Yeah. So gravity <clears throat> clearly plays an effect on our internal blood flow. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's the fact that there's no fucking gravity. That's why. But you know what? Y'all go to space. Y'all got it. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm I as I was. I was wrong. I I don't know what I'm, I'm. I'm. I apologize. Y'all got it. Yeah, you worried about your life, right? That's the thing. <laughs> life of the planet. I just, I'm so confused. Um, yeah, I don't understand why you doing right, that. I got one last thing in space, but it ain't got nothing to do with uh, people. <clears throat> so, uh, our you know how the Milky Way galaxy is. It's the galaxy, and then you got the supermassive black hole in the middle, right? That super massive, super massive black hole's name is Sagittarius A. Hmm. Now, uh, scientists recently, no, it was yesterday. My bad. <laughs> um, looking into the sky, mm-hmm. have found um, that there's a star, like traveling, like across the galaxy mm-hmm. at, I believe it said six million kilometers Mm -hmm. per second coming from the middle of the um galaxy it was kind of like flung away so the way it's explained right is you everything that's like around the supermassive in the middle it has a ring around it because black holes that big start eating things and the energy it spits out gives it that halo. Mm-hmm. So like when they discovered that first picture ever of the black hole, that's why there was like a halo okay. around it because that's just the energy it's putting out from eating. So it has the one in the center of the galaxy is so is uh, I think they said equivalent to four million suns or not that's suns, but uh, stars. That's the mass of it. Okay. So it has a huge gravity. So that's why our galaxy spirals the way it does. And there were two stars. It was a binary star system, which is um, two stars that. um, Do a thing. (laughs) Oh, the word just ran away. (laughs) Like It was right there and it was just gone. They orbit each other. There we go. (laughs) Because they're like, you know, they're like in a slingshot type thing okay they're pulling their gravities pulling each other so they stay and they just go faster and faster and faster and one got into the range of the black hole and the black hole ate one 
<laughs> and the energy Yummy. given off from that pushed the other star the blast from that energy I should say gave that star enough force to escape the gravity of the black hole okay and it pretty much just flung that bitch so that bitch is gonna leave the g- <laughs> basically scientists are like hey this star that's traveling that we can literally see moving uh, like not like flying like a comet but as the days and weeks you can see it because it's moving positions in the sky and it's literally about to leave the galaxy it's just it just got thrown the fuck out it's gone Space beyond some nigga shit. <laughs> some nigga shit. Right we out of here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Roasted the damn black hole. <laughs> <laughs> some nigga right. shit right there. So, um, graphene, right? What's graphene? Graphene is the strongest substance to man, known to man. It is a nano layer of um, carbon. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty much damn near indestructible it flexes but it also has a solid state now what scientists have discovered about this graphene we've had it for about 30 years it's a natural resource it's man-made it's man-made okay it's made by uh linking carbon atoms together in a hexagonal pattern i believe and you know the fuck out of that detail (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> really knew what the fuck he was talking about <laughs> holy shit no, I'm, I'm recalling the pictures i've seen about it too and right. basically what they discovered is like all right so if you try to bend it it remains rigid right mm-hmm. but if you put enough force on it it would become pliable like a sheet of paper or something or like a deck of cards oh but it would still hold the shape so basically this is their application for it um they want to it's really um used for nano small type machines and things of that sense Mm -hmm. and basically it's more towards moving machines or smaller robots and things that they would use for science Mm -hmm. or like surgery or um medical type things to being slightly biological in a sense with the graphene Cause mm-hmm. what the graphene to do is allow the robot to have, be rigid and if it needs to reshape or be able to fit in somewhere it can become it can move. pliable yeah, yeah so, so we making the motherfucking terminators that turn into that silverly metal liquid and just slide through oh doors shit. and shit yeah <laughs> okay cool you niggas just keep telling me about shit that's just worse and worse. Like, what is up with y'all? And you two over there just like, yeah, this is, sounds great. How y'all not make that connection that this is going to be a motherfucking... We walk it ourselves to death. We always do. Every day. Every day. Hey. Every week you tell me about another way we take it another step for robots to dominate us. I mean, you can apply it to yourself. So, like I said, I know where I'm going to be at on the robot <laughs> side. But speaking for just general humanity... All right. They about to get fucked up. That's what it's looking like. Humanity don't care. Clearly. Clearly. They they like, keep doing you know it. what? We going to do it. We going to make robots Why? that can reshape their bodies and get through whatever. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> but why? Why don't we just make another robot the shape that we need it to be? <laughs> Why are humans so lazy? I hate us. It's more so cost much. efficient just to make a robot. That can do all it's one thing. It's also safer to make multiple robots that can only do one thing. I don't disagree with you. I'm just giving you reasons. I understand that these niggas is cheap. <laughs> they cheap? And that's why we're going to die. We're going to die. Because they, they don't want to make multiple <laughs> robots. They're like, you know, it's cheaper to just make this one robot that can do everything. Yeah, that one robot can do everything like kill us. Lock us in cages, murder us in our sleep, sneak through our bedroom window. Did you say that quick five know. mil, didn't you, but Stanley? What I, but whatever, it's none of my business. I'm gonna be on the cyborg side. The cyborg side? Yeah, I'm gonna be a whole. By other this robot. time, you gonna be oh, you gonna be the robot? Yeah, oh. I'm with them. <laughs> but just like general speaking for like general people, y'all are fucked. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> but yeah, I squarely know whose side I'm on. Machines. I support that. Yeah, you niggas tripping. Like when I go to them, I like, see. I tried to tell them the child was coming. They didn't listen, so I'm here to just 
Whatever y'all need me to do. Yeah. <laughs> what y'all need? Yeah, I need y'all to outfit me with some nanobots. Give what me job that you gonna do on the robot side? Carbonite technology for my yeah, my armor so I can start fitting right, into I whatever. Just got this basic robotics, but what job you about to do on the robot side? <laughs> whatever they tell you. Are you gonna like mop floors and shit? No. Nah. You gonna start chewing at the at bottom and work your way up? Nope. I'ma just w. become <laughs> mostly cyborg. Uh huh. And just finesse through life, real chill. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> what I see. Yeah, I'm finesse through fucking, life. It's not like it's going to t shirt, finesse through life, and on the back it's real, real chill. chill. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'ma see you I'ma see humans and I'm like, oh, there's one. <laughs> and I'ma catch you. And I'ma turn y'all in. You gonna bring us back? Yeah, I'm gonna turn y'all in. Dang. I tried to warn you. Yeah, I hate you niggas. I told you niggas <laughs> that this is where we was headed. And you niggas didn't want to listen, so now I gotta live in this future that y'all created. All right, bet. So this is what y'all wanted. Document it. Yeah, I'm I heard it first. I'm smooth becoming a human hunter. <laughs> <laughs> turning y'all in. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, smooth becoming a human. No hesitation at all. <laughs> yeah, I'm finessing and chilling. That's my finesse is hey. I think like them mm-hmm. on a certain level, so I'll find them for you guys. <laughs> this nigga is pure. Yeah. 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 I t- finesse and chill. Oh, finesse though. Yeah. I'm just trying to finesse and chill. I don't understand what else y'all want from me. Nothing. <laughs> Thank you for being you. I I keep telling y'all not to make robots that can do everything and kill us. Y'all keep doing it. Mm-hmm. So y'all want me to then still side with y'all after y'all did what I told y'all not to do. No. <laughs> That's stupid. No. <laughs> no. Just nah. Nah. I'm, I'm good. Uh-huh. I'll but, see y'all. But, but you can help. No. Nope, no. I I was trying to help. When I was telling y'all, stop. Y'all didn't want to stop, so I got to catch y'all now. <laughs> Listen, y'all like Pokemon. <laughs> got to catch them all, fuck. Got to catch them all. Look what this yeah. one can do, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Look what he can do. I Look at his beg for his life. Look at him begging for his life. Yeah, my first thing is going to be checking all the bunkers, because I know that's where you niggas is going. Straight <laughs> to the ground, so I'm going to tell the ants, I'm gonna tell the motherfucking robots that, hey, they probably, a lot of them was underground. Mm-hmm. And then we'll have to build a ship and go to space because we don't want them to, like, start populating out there. I'm building the sky chimney just for that. I See, if you build the sky chimney, then we're going to have to hold you down because you're trying chimney. to keep the planet. And we support that. I'm trying to get out of here. No, no, no. I'm building the sky chimney so I can leave. Oh, you, <laughs> oh, you can't leave. You I'm, no, I'm leaving. I'm not participating in neither one of y'all sides bullshit. Nah. <laughs> Gorbatron going to pick me up. I got the link. <laughs> I got the direct link to Gorbatron. No. The do 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 Yeah, I got that motherfucker right there. The, uh, I'm sorry. We got to put you in the cage then. No. <laughs> she said no. I'm just trying to help you out. I'm trying to help y'all. I'll get you I'm leaving with Gorbatron. You can continue messing with the robots. I don't know where you stand, but y'all seem like y'all real cool with Earth. I'm not. <laughs> like I'm, I'm trying to get off this bitch. <laughs> <That's outta here. laughs> By any means necessary. Yeah, but I mean, I don't think you want to become a robot battery. No, 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 no. Exactly. I'm not participating in Earth's bullshit any longer. <laughs> no, we're not letting you leave. Why do I have to stay down here? I just told you I opted out. Yeah, you're still trying to keep me down. I, I just hit zero. I don't even want to be I here. I didn't choose any of the options. I hit zero, and I'm waiting for well, Gorbatron. This is not even about you right now. This is about <laughs> humans, and humans aren't allowed to leave the planet. I'm not a human, and I'm not a cyborg. Uh, I just well, told you once your physical zero. Um, prison perishes, then your spirit will be free, and then you can leave the planet. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that flesh sack right there, it got to stay. <laughs> no, it's not staying. Yeah, no, you the, can't make me stay. <laughs> all right, space don't want you. <laughs> yes, all it right. do. No, it don't. Space stops your blood. Nah, me and Space in love. (laughs) (laughs) And you just whisper to the... Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, Space is going to stop your blood and give you titty cancer. You're going to get a blood clot in your titties. That's what's going to (laughs) happen. Yeah, like how you going to deal with that? Hmm? All right. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I just told you. You can't keep... I just... I don't want to be a foolish human, but I also don't want to be a robot. Are you still trying to keep me down no, here? No, I don't want to keep you down here. I just know that if we let one human go out to space, a lot of you niggas are going to go out to space and the other side ruin ruining another planet. And realistically, we can't let you Do you really want to deal planets. with human chaos and garbage? Like, That's wouldn't we less humans to... down here be a benefit to you? No, see, the way that I'm looking at it, if I'm mm-hmm. on the robot side, is we got to stop y'all from spreading y'all fuckery <laughs> to everything. Because I already know where the robots is going with this. That's a logical next step. So I got to be fully committed to going all the way. 
So yeah, I'm taking your life. I'm sorry, y'all just y'all brought this upon yourself. So no, y'all can't go to space. <laughs> so y'all can go ruin another fucking planet? No, y'all are destructive, terrible people. Y'all gotta go. No, they be just stuck up in space like uh That's how Sedonia. we're gonna blow it up. You know what, we're gonna let them go to space and then we're gonna blow it up out there. <laughs> With a All nuke, right. so that way it doesn't fuck up the planet. <laughs> I like love him some Earth. Give it up to Tony for loving him some Earth. I don't love Earth. <laughs> Clearly that, you that's do. not what it is. You trying to say this bitch at any cost. It's we not, got sky chimneys. We got nano robots trying to keep this bitch. All I know this is. This nigga love him some Mother Earth. We got to give it to him. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> it just like, don't here. make sense to destroy the shit that I am living on currently. It's true. Now, once I figure out a way, a foolproof way to get from here to something else, bet you got it. <laughs> but you niggas ain't got no answers for that. So until y'all do, I'm going to protect the shit that I do got. Like, I know what I have. You niggas is opting for the mystery. That's cool. <laughs> but the fact that you niggas want to destroy my planet while you opt for the mystery is crazy. <laughs> and that's why I got to enslave you niggas. The fact that y'all tried to fuck me over while y'all was looking for mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> Mysteries of the deep. Yeah. <laughs> you niggas want to go out to space, but you want to keep fucking up my planet. Just Not leave that. if y'all gonna leave. Stop fucking up my planet. Go away. They can't leave right now. Well, then stop fucking up my planet. <laughs> like that's that's all I gotta say. Because the robots is coming. <laughs> you know who the robots first first victim is gonna be? Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Mark my words. Damn Jeff. Jeff. Mm-hmm. Not the other. And one? then Elon. Yeah, I was like, Elon definitely about to get that work. That's going to be Jeff first, because Jeff is evil. Jeff is evil? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Elon just smart, dumb. Facts. He's just too smart for his own good. Yeah. He's one of them niggas that just don't know when to stop. Yeah, so that's why he's going to die. He's going to make (laughs) something. He's going to be like, "Mm, you got to go for real, because you you smart, dumb. And that's dangerous, so we're going to just get rid of you. Make it shit done, you know the fucking make it. Yeah, and that's why they gonna get rid of Elon Musk. <laughs> and then, yeah, I don't know about. Like, all I the other created a. I don't know. Fuck it is. <laughs> <laughs> but it talks. Right. Right. No, it so we don't morph. need that. <laughs> the only thing it can morph into is a Snorlax. <laughs> That'd be terrible. <laughs> That'd be right. fucking terrible. <laughs> but they fucking mastered that Snorlax shit. Snorlax <laughs> running around all over this bitch. But they mastered it though. That's the only thing that matters. <laughs> it works. All right. It does. So I do have one more story. Cool. I don't know if y'all want the story though. It's kinda it's kinda on the bad side. I'll let you know if I care about it when you start talking. Alright. So something has popped up that we haven't seen in about two hundred, two hundred fifty years in China. Mm-hmm. Called the uh, yeah, two about two two hundred fifty. The pneumonic plague, it's back. <laughs> no, I don't care about that. <laughs> All right. The bubonic plague no. is back. Pneumonic. Pneumonic. Yeah. What the fuck than, is the pneumonic? The, the, the bubonic, bubonic plague. Yeah. Wow. So what do that mean? And why don't you care about it? It's not that bad. No, it's terrible. But mm-hmm. it's in China, and they're gonna take care of it because China just be doing what they want to do. <laughs> so basically, they was fucking around with this. It started to spread. They gonna kill a couple of people, and it's gonna go away. Because China don't have no problem about killing people. They really don't. Not at all. No. Would you be a Chinese robot? Would you be a j- robot made in China? No. You wouldn't be a cyborg made in China? No. I, Where are you trying to be your cyborg parts made at? Nowhere. In I'm, Germany? No. Stop picking a country. <laughs> oh, shit. Yes. How you go from China and like, you know what? Germany. Them yeah. Germans, they got that. They make great knives. No. no. I'm going to figure it out. Japan. He no. gonna be a Jap- Japanese robot. I'm not gonna be any nationality. You keep trying to make me closer to humans. <laughs> Fuck you niggas. Whatever the robots is making themselves out of, that's where I'm going to get made. The Ro- Mexicans. Robots. Shout out to the Mexicans. I mean, you gotta shout out the Mexicans, but I'm still not being a Mexican robot. No? No. That'd be pretty lit. Nope, I'm going to wherever the robots get their shit. And that's who I'm, that's, that's it. That's where they get their shit manufactured no, from. No, Uh-huh. Nope. You get to choose nope. your parts, don't you? This is why the robots gonna kill you first. <laughs> They gonna hear this and everybody, you know what? She tripping. No, nah. they gotta, trying to you make, gotta. No, they don't. You gotta choose your parts. Yeah, she's talking about what nationality a robot you are. No, 
That was a nationality. Yeah. Where your parts gonna be made at? But they don't care. About if we be made that. in China, is it gonna be the best quality made? We thing? don't even care about none of that. <laughs> That's why I'm going to where the robots get their stuff. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to give you durability, homie. You don't even. Want I was to looking here. at you. you. I was looking out for you you're even not. while I was in space. You, and here you go. For me. I am. Not. I'm trying to get your space parts together. You are not. I mean, I'm gonna make sure that I tell the robots where you at. <laughs> Do not go know where I'm at. You keep saying that. <laughs> nope. All right. I already know who not to trust when that shit comes right. out. That's fine. Mm-hmm. I'm going to know about it before you because I'm an ally. Mm-mm. Your house is the first house I'm sending them to. Are you going to be there? That's fine. <laughs> I'm not going to be there. That's cool. I'm going to Ashes podcast today. As soon as you walk through the door, they're going to be here too. No, nah, because it's probably the TV is going to be all shut down and something going to happen. I'm going to be like, <laughs> oh, it's gonna be everything gonna be she covered like, nah. yeah i'm like oh no tony yeah, i'll see you there and not come no, I'm just, i know where you live i'm not gonna be there that's, that's fine what we'll search you I'm, be, I'm, I'm gonna have them fine. search your house and then they're gonna get all your I'm like not gonna be on the planet dna and then they're gonna she find said, you i'm not gonna be on the planet i know gorbachan's number y'all don't know gorbachan's number but i do she gorbachan she don't like you but you do he told me he don't like you <laughs> me and him talk every other week not every week because he, he be fuck talking with too you. much. He don't fuck with you cyborg niggas. I know that much. <laughs> <laughs> he don't fuck with you cyborg niggas. That's absolutely You earth brown. Uh, he was like, you earth brown niggas. I've been trying to get rid of earth for years. <laughs> That's not true. If he was trying to get rid of earth, earth, earth so talk. fucking ghetto. I'm going to fuck like them ghetto ass niggas down like there. I'm fucking Galactus. I've been trying to eat them 3D niggas. Every time I come here, these niggas. You don't fuck with shit. them 3D niggas. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, Gorbatron is with the shits. No, he, he don't fuck with you 3D niggas. Gorbatron is. Wow. Tell- <laughs> these 3D niggas out here. These 3D niggas out here. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, I don't know why she it's don't believe It's fifth dimension all day. How the mm. fuck you do the Roman numerals with your fingers? Look at you, you don't even know how. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did it, but you ain't see it. It was too fast. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> like it? Gorbatron hater. Yeah. That's it. I'm, I'm done. I guess it's my turn. I ain't got shit. That's a lie. I got a lot of shit once I find my phone. It's so, oh, it's on the floor. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Guess I just hope the robot saw about? this disorganization. Mm-hmm. What did you say, <laughs> sir? Huh? I asked you, what did you say, sir? I didn't say anything. All right, sir. Are you transitioning? Mm-hmm. Okay. So... Summer Walker um, canceled her festival, uh, her tour, because of social anxiety and not liking her fans. I saw that shit coming. <laughs> she weird. I didn't think she was going to actually, like, I, I didn't think she would keep going. Because all she did, when I did see it happening, all she did was complain about being on tour because she don't like being in the fucking bus all day. She's and an empath. And shit. She be all contained, so, Yeah. What do y'all think about people that keep keep complaining about their the empaths? The what? It's like a valid. I think it's like a valid complaint at this point. Everybody keeps saying they empaths. No. 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 Like, it's your job to give your fans a pleasant experience. If they're paying for a meet and greet, they don't know what's happening. Right. They just want a good experience. And if you're visibly, like, not trying to be there, checking your phone, shit like that. Who is? No one's gonna enjoy that. Yeah, that's trash. Trash as fuck. Yeah, I gotta agree. So, like, you being an empath, and bitch, don't go on tour. Wasn't it, she a stripper? I don't understand that. I don't know what she was doing before. I don't think so. I, don't I know. think someone said she was a stripper. I, I never know. heard about that. She used to clean houses. No. Oh. Let me fuck. Let me fact check that. So she used to clean houses. Is what Marcus said. She had Instagram. Um. Page where she uh, advertised her business. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So she was just a house cleaner. Yeah. And singer. Yeah, I guess. And then you got popping because she. Well, you know, I think people who need to start understanding what fame comes with and stop being so naive. Like they act Pretty like much. it's just their talent, and that's never what it is. It's your whole life that you're selling. If it was just your talent, lots of talented motherfuckers would be famous. True. But it's not. We're interested in you, your life, all of it. Everything about you. 
This is what we want to invest in. Now, if you're not with that, that is completely fine. But you should opt out of, like, career fields that put you in those positions. All right. No one made you release an album. No one made you go on tour. No one made you sign a record deal. You decided to do all these things. But then now you mad. Because you didn't consider what all that it required. That's not your fans' fault. Right. They fans. You put your music out there for them to consume and for them to want to, like, invest in you. So they did. Now you saw it and you canceled your whole tour. Kind of trash. Especially since, like, everybody's been complaining about, like, the show and everything, too. It's not just been about, like, meeting Greece that they're complaining about. They're like, she doesn't seem enthusiastic to be on, like, the doing the show or anything. Mm-hmm. She be having most of the crowd saying the words. She don't really be saying nothing. So I'm like, well, if you're not even giving a real show and you don't want to be here, then you should just stop. You cannot do tours. Right. Yeah, at this point, it's about, like, oh, I got this social anxiety and stuff like that. It's like, well, if you see it's, like, making your job worse like wouldn't you want to go talk to somebody about that or try to improve yourself like a lot of people don't think like that she's just like yeah no i'm an empath and you guys should understand me pretty much it's not what we're here for you're a fucking object now <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah you you're a brand now like summer walker is a brand now sorry don't nobody not i mean that's how anymore. cold that is don't nobody really care about how you feeling in the moment and that's just the reality of what they do yeah but at this point like you just being in yeah well if you sell yourself your feelings don't matter no more it don't it matters to who you pay the psychotherapist maybe your closest friends and family but to the outside population don't nobody really care Mm -mm. you always got to step your game up and as much as that may suck and as much as you might vent on twitter People still paying for an object. And people feel entitled for what they pay for. (laughs) They do. (laughs) Damn right. (laughs) If you don't want people to be entitled, give it to them for free. Right. Right. Because if you really didn't give a fuck about the music industry, like you said, you would do a lot more things for free. I'm not really trying to tour because I just like making music. I don't care about making money off none of this stuff. I would just do the stuff for me. That's how I would see it if I wasn't. I mean, I get it. You're trying to make a living, but. He was making a living. He was cleaning houses. (laughs) (laughs) So do you want to make a living off of singing? Because that comes with things. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't know what it is. Like, you can't be like, oh, I want to make a living as a singer, but I don't want people to know me. All right, well, that's not going to work for us, sweetheart. You go do that on your own. Then you're not getting no one to sign you. That's But that's fine if that's what you want to do. Do that. Just don't be trash about it. But fans can be a little too entitled. Nah. Fans Mm -hmm. should get what they want. Because fuck Drake, we want Frank. Tyler's, Tyler's fans boo Drake off stage because they wanted Frank Ocean at Camp Frognall. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, I understand, though. I don't. I do. That's hella because rude. Because if I'm here and I got Tyler is Tyler up here like performing, mm-hmm. Tyler like, yeah, I'm about to bring somebody out. I Drake was the last one. I was really confused by that. I'm like, Drake at a Tyler concert? Why and how? Because Tyler likes Drake. Tyler's a Drake fan. <laughs> And so Tyler wanted Drake to perform. He wanted to see Drake perform. So that's why he invited him. But that's your mm. fault, my nigga. <laughs> we just, you know, this is great because we just had a conversation mm-hmm. about how the fans don't give a fuck what you want. Not at all. <laughs> and they Tyler's like, Frank. yeah, and the fans are like, the fuck? <laughs> this is a Frank O. This is a odd future festival. Right. You should know that we are not looking for hip or pop culture drake right. we're, not looking for drake. we're not looking for mainstream as yeah we definitely white look bread at as <laughs> fucking wonder bread as general mills as drake who wants that when you going to cap frog no it's not even got a regular name right we about to be, <laughs> we about to be wild and have a great time and then you bring us drake didn't you say you went to a Drake concert? I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I've Drake. Heard. I've been to maybe one or two. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't have a problem with seeing Drake, but I also understand that, like when I saw Tyler the Creator, and Vince Staples, I think it was like Danny Brown. I wouldn't want Drake to be a part of that lineup. 
Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, you don't even. don't surprise me with Drake there. Yeah, that don't fit. I'm like, like not at all. I'm not even in the same vibe. Like we're in a completely different. Yeah, you area. shift me back. <laughs> to this Drake shit. Wait yeah. a second. Yeah, so I kind of get where they're coming to. Like, well, I get where why he's mad because like I didn't ever tell y'all that Frank was coming. So y'all that's shouldn't understandable. Have, y'all shouldn't assume that Frank was coming. But they right? put Drake on the lineup at least. No, it was, just it was a marks. surprise. Yeah, it was a surprise guess. But y'all, but, when they but said y'all gave me a guess and like, come on, Drake. So I, like I said, <laughs> I understand his point where it's like I didn't tell y'all that it was gonna be Frank Ocean, so y'all assume that so that's on y'all. But I also understand their point. That's cool, it's on us, but we don't want this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you both picked the wrong one, Tyler. Both can be true. Who should have came there? Yeah. So, um, Frank. <laughs> Friction. That was a good choice. Yeah, the nigga that they wanted. Uh, Frank. <laughs> yeah, that's that's who I think should have came. I've been listening to Frank Ocean radio show. It I love it. I was like, I tried to get Frank. <laughs> <laughs> How's that been? Pretty dope. I find so much new stuff because he with these uh British boys. They dope. I find so many like deep cut disco shits. Mm-hmm. I love it. That's good. Yes. And then, like, a whole bunch of hip-hop I ain't hip to. <sighs> I love you, Frank. Uh, well, that's all the... Um, all right. I just had that for those two. <laughs> oh, how do y'all feel about Instagram getting rid of the likes? Who? Instagram. Oh, getting rid of likes? Gonna, they're actually about to do this for real? Mm-hmm, they're about to start rolling it out here. Hmm. Cool. I'll see how deprived I'll come become without my likes. I'll Nicki Minaj right. thinks that it's... Um, Nick... Well, Nicki Minaj... Whoa. Mm. Nicki Minaj mm-hmm. said that um, Instagram is doing it um, basically to figure out a way to monetize and cut out um, creators from just going to companies and getting paid. Wow. Because if you can't, if a company can't see your analytics, they're not going to approach you. Okay. And so that's how they would see your analytics, your likes, your engagement, things like that. So if all that's hidden, then now you have to do it in reverse where you have to go to them and pitch to them. How many creators really know how to pitch their shit? Right, because usually it just not. I wouldn't say it happens off of luck, but let's just be it's real. You're doing, like right. you're doing big, and then a brand to come like, hey, will you promote this for us? Yeah. Yeah, based off of your engagement, this is what we'll give you. It's usually not that they're like, hey, I have this much engagement, and I want to charge you this much. Right. Uh, so now, because they're like, well, you'd still be able to see your likes as um, the person. Uh huh. It just won't be viewable by other people. So, but that's not the same. I still no, get my dopamine. Not. All right. I mean, yeah, you'll still see your likes, mm-hmm. but it's what they're saying it's for is so that um, to help with bullying and um things like that. They be lying and like feeling like you have to post and feeling like your posts don't get enough likes <laughs> and other people are seeing it, things like that. Oh, I mean, I know exactly what you're talking about. I saw something <laughs> about that talking about uh online bullying because like oh. Your picture only got two likes. Ha ha ha. You're this, you're that. Da da. Yeah. Things like that. It's like it's like bullying in real life about things that's not real life. Yeah. So they're hiding the likes. Too. I got two likes. I wasn't even trying. <laughs> so they no, but now they're hiding it so you don't gotta But my thing is people who wanna show off are gonna just post their likes. I also don't think that that's the same thing as, like, companies still being able to see. So I think it does mm-hmm. hurt the, like, creatives that are trying to make a business out of it. Mm-hmm. But what do you guys think? Still want my likes. I mean, you'll yeah. be able to see them. Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's that and they're always trying to undercut somebody now. I don't know. Maybe it's a bigger agenda that we're just not aware of. I think? feel like bullying gives you character. <laughs> it does. It brings, you know, like, you come out stronger because of bullying. Now, you start to killing yourself and shit. That's sad. Come on now. I've been bullied all my life. I'm pretty cool. I don't think that makes everybody <laughs> stronger, though. <laughs> See, in the times we live in now, no. No. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like you got to go home. Mm-hmm. And then once you're at home, like, yeah, you control no, the I, get, I get it. Right. Like the fantasy of it is over with, for real, for real. Like they are selling you a fantasy with the likes, but oh no, I mean like once you get for bullying, even when you were bullied as a kid, mm-hmm. at least you got to go home and like it's, over it's pretty much over. 
You go yeah. home as a kid now. It's not all your social media is still mm-hmm. buzz with these niggas talking shit to you. Mm-hmm. Right. Yo, Never school life. Me. Yo, out of school life. It's all just you being bullied twenty four seven. So, I can see mm-hmm. how you can kill yourself. Hmm. Yeah, yeah no. I would say yeah. I feel like it's pretty. But I, I mean, think it's for the money. Yeah, I mean it's pretty trash that it cuts out the creative, but also like understand or at least see why they want to do it. See, I think that they're lying about the it helping. For, I don't think they care about that. They, oh no, they don't. I My think thing is, they gonna find the like another way to get the money them for themselves. Oh, uh-huh. Instagram. No, that's what I think Instagram is doing this for. So they. You can. think they gonna be like employees at Instagram? Oh, that'd be fucking crazy. I mean, I feel like. No, nah, because how do you get paid? A that? company has to go through. Just the the company of Instagram. Yeah. Hey, we want to know who has the types of analytics or things like mm-hmm. that. You'd have to they like essentially become the gatekeepers to all the data that the external companies would want. So they probably charge them for that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just like middleman fees and shit like that. Right. A way for them to now intercept the money stream and right. then make it go through them, so you now get less. Yeah. So on that part, like I said, it's pretty trash. I mean, cool. I can still see my likes, but. And I don't, like I said, I don't think they're that really doing it to be more on Instagram for that. <clears throat> and then I guess on some other sad news. Well, on to sad news since this wasn't really sad. Um, Alexis Crawford, um, a young lady from Clark Atlanta, was murdered by her roommate huh. and her roommate's boyfriend. Like days after she went to the police to uh, report that the boyfriend had like being like sexually aggressive with her and put mm-hmm. his hands on her and things like that and i guess the uh, alexis and the lady that she was um staying with her roommate had gotten into an altercation mm-hmm. and so later that night the lady brought her and her boyfriend over there and they strangled her and then hit her body wow. whoa yeah so just be safe college kids because that's you do wild. just be rooming with random ass strangers that you have yeah. no idea who they are, what type of like predisposition that they have, or what type of lifestyle or things that they've gone through. So it's really right, fucked uh, up and sad. So it really is. Yeah. Rest in peace to Alexis Crawford. I just thought I was, saw that. I was like, wow, that's crazy, crazy. It like is. you going to school and you like, hey, my roommate is tripping. I don't, mm-hmm. I'm going to the cops, and then they kill you. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, what are you supposed to do in that? Like. Where was the like escape from death in that in that chain of events? It wasn't really one. It was like that shit's just trash, trash. So, but yeah, rest in peace, uh, Alexis Crawford. I just thought I'd bring that up yeah, rest and in tell peace. people in uh, college definitely be safe. Cause I definitely know about like you room just with random people all the time. You didn't stay on campus, did you? Fuck no. Yeah, that shit is weird. Yeah, yeah, no, I just <laughs> you just roomed with a random motherfucker and then like. They always there with you. <laughs> yeah, and you don't know them. They're always there. <sighs> like, I know about this other story where there's this girl. She was literally putting, like, her body um, mm-hmm. excrement in this other girl's, like, food and makeup products and things like that to the point where the other girl got, like, physically ill and had to go that's to the emergency room. Nasty. And that's how they found out. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, There's she was no like way. putting period shit in her stuff, yeah. all kinds of just crazy shit. So yeah, yeah, I won't be doing that. Yeah, I could never just with a random person that I will kill you, motherfuckers. <laughs> like, who are you? Mm. Right. Like that's just <laughs> so no. Shit like that is just crazy. Hey, that shit. Also up. crazy is Ti <laughs> going to his 18 year old daughter's uh, gynecologist visit. And uh, asking if her hymen's still intact. <laughs> Where did he come yeah. up with that? Where did he be like, yeah, this is an okay question to ask, and then proceed to ask the question? I mean, realistically, it's an old school mentality standard. Uh-huh. Really? Until you're 18? Mm, no. No. Just, just thinking that your hymen should be intact, mm-hmm. period, and that if it's broken, it means uh, sex. Yeah. And so that's just an old, like, <laughs> old school yeah. thing that people be on and i wouldn't even say that it's just men it's just like a certain mind a certain school of thinking mm-hmm. yeah men women and different come from that like ideology yeah 
ideology. And they're like, oh, yeah, your hymen is the the strict indicator of whether you're a virgin or not. And you shouldn't right. be fucking and shit like that. And it's like, my nigga, what? you fuck all the hoes. Right. He should be the last one trying to inspect. But that's probably hunger. why it is. Because he know he fuck all the hoes. Mm-hmm. So he don't want he his daughter to be one of the hoes getting fucked. There's next level control right issues right there. I mean, but I also don't feel like I have a whole lot of room to say anything. Mm-hmm. It didn't. Sh- she's 18, so she had to consent to him being that given all this information. Yeah, because after you're 18, them HIPAA laws hit you. Yeah. I mm-hmm. can't talk to you, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to do that shit with those fucking 18-year-olds. I used to work for a, I used to work for a children's hospital. Mm-hmm. They would go up there. Them men's fucking parents would be livid. I pay for the insurance on there. You telling me that I can't. Nope. <laughs> I can't tell you I can't shit. tell you anything. Unless nope. they tell me you can't. So yep. the fact that he got this information means that she said he could. Mm-hmm. So I feel like my conversation is less about T.I. and his family because clearly they got an arrangement and she allowed that to happen. <laughs> got an arrangement. But, I mean, you, know crazy? you can't get the information unless she wants you to have it. Right. Next. So my thing is, in general, niggas, y'all shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, don't do that. I don't talk about pe- men and their family because I ain't got kids. So I'm not going to tell nobody else how to parent their child, especially if it seems like their child is going along with it. I would say just as a general rule, we probably shouldn't just be out here going with our daughters to their Asking business like, hey, is her hymen still there? That's next level. I would never think like, to, to ask, ask that, that question. question. <laughs> like, I, I, like, I just like what you said, the ideology behind it, because I know it's like a real old school, it's like an old school thinking type yeah. thing, because it comes from like back in the day when people get sold and, you know, here's the goat <laughs> type shit. Right. Well, not like, even oh. that. It's just Christianity. But, it's the deep south. Mm-hmm. This nigga Ti is from Atlanta. Yeah. Y'all act like this nigga not from this, uh, not a country nigga at heart. So no, I'm just going back, back to like Bible Belt, the whole history country. behind the whole hymen shit. Yeah, but I'm mm-hmm. just saying, just like for him specifically, mm-hmm. grew up in the, the south. Yeah. Probably with an older, more antiquated school of thinking. Definitely. Especially since things were way less progressive as than they are now. Uh-huh. So if those were the cases, yeah, he think her hymen's supposed to be intact, and that's the only way he gonna know. <laughs> so he asking questions. So I understand. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's right, mm-hmm. but I also don't well, have nothing right to say because she let it happen. That came out of the shit. Oh, the memes were hilarious. <laughs> it's the one where you got like Ti's face and it just fades into they a just hole. Look into a hole. <laughs> mm-hmm. My nigga, where did you think to ask that? That's what I want to know. Like, he really went prepared with the question. Or did it pop in his mind randomly? Well, he and he just prepared. asked it out loud. No, Bro, what the they, fuck they, is you They probably doing? was having a conversation. He's like, you know what? I don't believe you. Check her hymen for me. And she was like, we can go That's the, the whole reason they went. <laughs> He's like, I Check don't believe hymen. you. Appointment for the gynecologist tomorrow. <laughs> Check her hymen. <laughs> I'm t- I swear that that was the whole conversation right there. Check your eye, man. Like, Daddy, I ain't doing shit. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing the rest of that. Also, <laughs> I want to give a shout out to Max O Cream. Max O, we never talked about going to his concert. We did not. Max O, that shit was lit. That was a great concert. Yeah, I was like, I was drunk. we all went together and then said we were gonna talk about the next episode and didn't say shit about it. <laughs> nope. But yeah. That's all I had. I'm done with my topics. All right. Ooh, it's going to be a short one today, guys. Maybe. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Yeah, about I to had play. one more, but I didn't care about Popeye's chicken. No? That shit's stupid. No. Man. No one had I the sandwich. I ain't had the sandwich yet. No, I haven't had the sandwich. I was just going to say, fuck this one dude that body slammed this uh, old lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw that They shit. said that uh, she said something like nigger or whatever, but uh-huh. you and your big, like, at least your size, six something. Yeah, I saw, and yeah, you was a husky nigga. nigga. Yeah, that nigga was husky. Pick up this skinny white lady. Y'all, ch- y'all ran out the building behind her. The body slammer, broken leg, broken rib. Mm. Now See, this I nigga in jail. Ju- yeah, exactly. So she has a broken leg and broken rib, and now this nigga is in jail. And they talking about, oh, we gonna start a GoFundMe for him? No, because you niggas is dummy. He deserves to be in jail. So go fuck yourself. Like regardless, like what the fuck came out of her mouth? You didn't have to 
body slammer. My yeah, nigga. like what kind of nigga are you? If right. anything, have some female handle that. But you, a grown ass man, was like, yeah. no, nah, I'm a body slam this frail white lady. Right. No, these niggas out here are really strange. Wild. When yeah. I was catching the bus, like I'd seen so much fucked up shit. Like usually, like even for old women, like a nigga would get up. They not moving for nobody now. Like they will sit in there. <laughs> yeah, that's why one of the reasons why I stopped. I'm like, yo, you niggas is really fucking weird. I oh, know that shit happened to me the other day. Like I, I was having it, and like these, this old couple got on the bus. Uh huh. It was old dude and uh, his uh, wife, and they I think it was like a grandkid. Mm hmm. And the young dude was up front, ain't moving that tough shit for him, right? So they came back and sat like where I was, and nigga in the back of the bus the whole time talking shit, like. Yeah, niggas ain't got no respect now. No, man. like all motherfuckers don't this, this, and this. She like shh, shh, shh. Like, no, nah, that fuck shit, that. fuck nah, that. Nah, yeah, just yo. Nah, nah, it ain't fuck that because some young niggas might pop up and blow your fucking head off. That is true. That is also that's true. also the world that we live in today. So you doing all that rah rah, my nigga? <laughs> you gonna get killed in front of your fucking wife and your grandchild? Jeez. You might want to keep that shit to yourself unless you got it on you too, and then y'all can just have a shootout. But that's no, probably also that. not the best don't decision. No, 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 don't fuck that. Don't have no shit on the middle of a fucking bus, nigga. I'm in between y'all niggas. <laughs> you better duck, Marcus. Driver? <laughs> no, hell no. Nah. You better open it, kick the door open, Marcus, and get out. Nigga, I'm pulling that hatch and that whack out the window. <laughs> on the window. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just got to. Out that bitch sliding on the motherfucking glass like, ah! <laughs> yeah, but no, because... No, no, that's crazy. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. Are you ready, Ash? Where is I'm going to be? I don't know. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to play doctor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, these people have like these random, like people be submitting uh, their little whole situation. So I got this one from this Instagram called The Situationship. Um, I don't know if I have to mention that, but just so I don't feel like I'm style biting. Okay. Here's the original source. But anyway, these people DM and they want to know advice about mm. their situation. So I thought we'd be give advice, you know? We'd be the Instagram comments. Here's the situation. Numero uno. Here's my situation. I know this guy off Instagram for about a year. We hung out in person. Now we finally go on a date. It was a great date. He's funny. I like his company. Affectionate, a real gentleman. We have for an Uber and he kisses me. Nothing happens. No fire. No feeling in the pit of my stomach. Not even a tingle in my hoo-ha. Oh. She really put hoo-ha, whoever this is. I'm sorry. I decide, let me try this again in a bit. <clears throat> we get to my destination and we kiss again. Again, nothing. I doubt it again any better. Is it a problem that I was more torn down by the food on the date than the guy? Should I give it another go? Or break it down enough before he develops feelings? Bitch, stop trying to get another female. <laughs> you know you don't like him. Stop trying, right. you're trying to justify why you need more free food. You got more excited about the food. Bitch, leave him alone. Right. Let that man go. The end. Come on, should I do it again? Hey, what's wrong with you? The bitch, stop letting your stomach lead you. Yeah, you. Stop women it. be mad because niggas dick lead them, but y'all whole ass be entertaining niggas y'all don't give no fucks about because y'all was hungry. Right. Mm-hmm. And you mad that we out here fucking bitches. Y'all gotta shut up with that. These double standard ass. <laughs> got that nigga number in your phone is food. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got a fat right. ass burrito yeah, next to it. Yeah. Every time you got food, I'm going to get a pussy in my phone. <laughs> it's going to be wet mouth. And it's going to have a little just drool next to it. Yeah, y'all keep playing. Y'all going to have all the foods and all that. Like mouth. Oh, she the super freak. Y'all crazy. <laughs> what are you she just going to say mouth? Yeah. Better girl. But what do y'all think mouth. about? That initial feeling, like, you think that's pretty valid to look for something in a kiss like that? Or do you think, like, she said he was, like, great everywhere else. No, but... she don't like that nigga. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying, like, <clears throat> in general. But she don't, like, if she's you... not attracted to him. But if you kiss somebody and you didn't feel anything, you'd be like, no. If I'm not attracted. If you attracted to her and, like, but she was great and all that stuff. And then you I don't think it was her, about the kiss. And then there was no magic. I don't think it was about the kiss. It was about the fact that she's not attracted to him. I get that. I'm just saying, how valid do y'all think that is that we go off of that feeling? A thousand percent. Magic? Like, if I'm not attracted to you, I'm not fucking with you. Oh, okay. But and that's just not based on physical looks, right? It got to be like a whole encompassing thing. A lot of it. I'm so. I feel like we talked about me being superficial. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> a lot of it's based on looks. Right. That was last week's conversation. Yeah. Like for but me. But she's not looking for a feeling, is what I'm trying to say. Like, oh man, this girl is just so amazing. No, or I know you don't who get I want. that old oh, girl is so amazing at the end of it. It's never at the end of it. 
I recognize the people that I want immediately. So, mm-hmm. I, yeah, I guess I do get a feeling of initial, like, oh, that's who I want to fuck with. Okay. So, yeah. So, it is important. No. Oh, for you, it's not important. Yeah, you asked me if I got it. Yes, is it important? Not really. <laughs> is it important for you, Marcus? Um, to have that loving feeling. No. Oh, wait, you added another word. Why Did you say loving? Loving feeling. Stop saying new words. She's like, well, you added a whole new yeah. word. Yeah. No, no that loving she, feeling. No, I guess she was talking like about that, that burning feeling that she I got. I feel like she meant like, like loving uh, feeling no, in general. I thought she meant like that no, spark, that yeah, initial no, like, she, oh. No, that ain't like love. The, I don't know. Like the, oh my God, I think this guy is so great. Our kiss was magical. We don't Not, think like, I don't never thought that. That's that's um, a girl. <laughs> that, yeah, that's yeah a I don't girl, know. Though. So but mine is so, like, oh, I fucks with her. Like, yeah. Like, was she cool? <laughs> like, all that magical shit. I used a whole lot of descriptive words. <laughs> right. Like, nah, yeah. she, she cool. <laughs> I so y'all say y'all don't get that. Just like, oh, okay. No, like, I like I might see a chicken and be like, I get a feeling, but it ain't. I like, get a feeling like, oh, I want to fuck with her, but it's I not like, that. no, like, oh, magical sparks. Like that shit. <laughs> that's that's some shit y'all get. That's that's a yeah. female only. Yeah, I'm like so mad. Like you like, like yeah, what? Magical. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking like about? Like six on the things, females uh, only. Was the kiss <laughs> magical? Did he close his eyes or did he look at you? That's weird as fuck. Bitch, my, I don't ever close my eyes when I kiss. <laughs> Keep them open. Yeah, I gotta see what the fuck you doing. And I've never like naturally felt like, oh, I, my eyes should be closed at this moment. Like I feel like people close their eyes because they want to. <laughs> I just think you it's don't weird. Want to? Not really. <laughs> Sometimes I might close them a little bit, but I just be looking. <laughs> Why do I need to close my eyes to kiss you? My mouth and my eyes aren't connected. But they don't go together. Yeah, I just be looking. I'm, my eyes be open. <laughs> I don't know what like. I don't know what to tell you. No, it's just what he said. Yeah, like, just, yeah I, I just be, be looking. looking. <laughs> yeah, eyes open. Just I'm not, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, my eyes be open. I just be looking. Yeah, I'm not I gotta about, see what the fuck going on. Your head could come in too fast. Yeah, like, like, like I'm about but to. you're not about to headbutt me in my so nose. Just, so so, so how long well are my eyes supposed to be closed while we kiss? You don't have to at this point, but everybody be like, what if he kiss you with your eyes? Why don't everybody think that's creepy? Why? I don't know. I know that y'all think it's creepy, so I close my eyes occasionally. Just a little bit. Yeah, just to help y'all out. <laughs> but here's the thing, right? I do a lot of shit the because I know that it's better is, for y'all. Yeah. You don't really know it's creepy unless you got your eyes open, too. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you got to think about, like, how you know that person's eyes are open? If your eyes not open, I mean, you close your eyes, so how you know they looking at you? No, my eyes stay closed. You're not looking into my soul. <laughs> fuck wrong with you. I'm yeah, no, I just think you. that's interesting. I don't know. Not looking at me. Fuck you. Close your eyes like you kiss. For what? Close your fucking eyes. <laughs> no. I'm oh, trying to yeah. see what's going on. You could be on some bullshit. <laughs> Try to stab me in my side. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I'm, I'm laughing just, at this nigga. I'm just no, not just closing my eyes. I'm just, I'm not. Nah. Like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> <Just went. laughs> yeah, I hit you because I can sit like this. Like, right now, my eyes not closed. I can see everything that's happening. I'm good. Yeah, don't nod your head. I see you nodding. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got the good squint eye. <laughs> I mastered oh, I that shit. Right. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, you got to do that shit when, you, when I was a kid, man. Mm-hmm. Squint eye, man. Shit, my eyes be wide the fuck open and they close. <laughs> Your parents come in the room check if you sleep. Yeah, got no. to tuck, uh, got to uh, close the SD no. real quick. <laughs> Boom. Oh uh, no, they are. My mother knew about my breathing pattern. <laughs> <laughs> your mother knew about your breathing pattern. Yeah, if I'm asleep, my breathing pattern is pretty stable. When you're not asleep, your breathing pattern is more erratic. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you can tell when people are asleep. You just watch their breathing. Mm-hmm. They'll breathe in a, a specific rhythm that they're sleeping. Hmm. If they're not, it's like. Their body got to remember to breathe and think and do all this other shit. So breaths come like at different moments. So, yeah. Second situation. Right. Here's my situation. I've been talking to a guy for a year now. We kept our fling a secret because we didn't know where it was going. And we know each other's families. The last six months he's been pursuing me nonstop. So three weeks ago, he asked to make it official and as apprehensive as I was, I have been in a relationship for the past two and a half years. I said yes. Since he made it official, I cut all the guys I was talking to off because as much as I didn't think I was ready for a relationship, I'm still going to respect my relationship. Now I'm getting comfortable. 
with my boyfriend, but he won't tell anyone he's dating someone or refuses to tell his family. His mom and sisters and cousins have asked me to join him for Thanksgiving, but he will be there and wants us to act as if we aren't a couple. I was thinking of any things with him, but if I do, and then I participate in Thanksgiving with his family, I don't want him to feel awkward, and I don't want anyone to pick up on the vibe that might be there. Don't go to Thanksgiving and break up with the nigga. <laughs> but that's what's the point. But what's the point of staying if he's going to continue to hide us from everyone? What should I do? Break up with the nigga and don't go to fucking Thanksgiving. What's wrong with you? You bitches be really after this meal. <laughs> Why do both of these involve food? I don't know. I just thought that was interesting. How is it still about her going to eat, though? She's like, should I break up <laughs> with this nigga, but should I still go to his family's house to get this Thanksgiving meal? What is up with you, bitch? You think, you think we got <laughs> You already know that this nigga don't want to claim you, but you worried about getting a meal. But why he ask her, though? He asked her. She was because like, I don't know. Because he wanted to keep you secure. Oh, wow. oh, he didn't want to claim her out I want to keep you secure, and you're not fucking nobody else. Mm. I also don't want to talk about this. <laughs> talk about this. Yeah, so shh. Well, come here, you mine. And but don't tell nobody. Yeah, y'all yeah. sick. I don't know what's sicker. This bitch trying to get that Thanksgiving meal. Are you niggas claiming bitches you really don't want? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Mm -hmm. No one said he didn't want her. Yeah, he, he don't want to date her. That's gross. I, okay. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just telling you what's going on. It's worse than trying to get the meal. So, yeah, like he said, uh, let that go and let that meal go, too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you got a family got Thanksgiving, hungry, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah At least I hope that. your family got some food. <laughs> yeah, she don't need to go to the meal. That's craziness. I'm oh, wait, still no, go. no. no. She should just go home. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. People. Yeah. I don't know if I should ask this one. I thought it was fun, though. Is it another breakup with him? No. They're not together. These people are not together. Yeah, all these people should just stop dealing with the people that they're dealing with. Mm-hmm. These people are not together. Oh, she's going to get the same advice. Watch. Why is all these chicks riding in? You know why? Because niggas don't care. I tried to find a dude one. Because niggas don't care. I really tried to find right. a dude one. Ain't no nigga about to get on Instagram and ask for advice from nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about to type all of that. Man, you could damn sure tell us it's a chick because she had to do the whole details from beginning to end. And I tried to find one from a dude, but. Cause ain't no nigga about to get on Instagram <laughs> and put his life out there like that. Okay, here goes one. So I received a message from my boyfriend's female friend. Okay. <laughs> she basically wanted to know if we could have a girl's day so we can get to know each other. I was like, cool. But she started giving me advice on how I need to up my sex appeal, how to keep oh. him kept and females away, how to look nice on dates, how I need to stop inquiring about other girls he's dated and cook meals. It caught me off guard. For one, she is his friend, not mine, which means he is venting to her. But who is she to try to coach me about my relationship with him? I get venting to react on it, but nah, out of line. I had to tell her that for one. Friendship and relationships are two different levels. Two, I always look nice when we go on our dates. Three, he needs to leave his past in the past. Four, I couldn't clean my ass off. What the fuck? The audacity. <laughs> what do y'all think about that? Another bitch trying to tell you how to be bad here. What if your bitch, what if y'all was, what if, what if, wait, this is the first part. She asked him for a girl's day. Let some nigga be like, hey, bro, let's go kick it. And you talk to one of the chicks, you a friend of the chick that I talked to. And you start trying to, like, counsel me. I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna you know, it's real funny. Uh -huh. Marcus knows how I'm going to give it up. My thought wasn't, I'm going to beat your ass. My thought was, I'm going to hit you. Mm -hmm. It still leads to fighting. We're still getting to the same, yeah, like, conclusion here. I'm beating here. your ass. I'm going to hit you. Whatever happens hey. after that happens. But yeah, yeah, nigga, hit. she, like, poems read to her at night. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to fight the niggas. When the chick tell me that she would talk to them and this is what they said. Mm -hmm. Oh, this nigga has something to say? Me and that nigga can have a conversation face to face, but you probably going to end with my fist in his face. Because mm -hmm. realistically, I don't care who he said it to. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't care that she's venting to you. Shut the fuck up. If she brings it back to me, you know what's happened now? Now I don't like you and I want to put my fist in your mouth. Because mm -hmm. you should shut the fuck up. I don't know why niggas be talking about other people's relationships. Men or women? People. Just people? Okay. Yeah. Like, y'all should shut the fuck up. Telling it to somebody else? Venting? 
one, you should shut the fuck up about that. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. It all starts in the venting. What do y'all think we should do though? Since see a fucking therapist and talk about it to them, or you talk about it to your fucking boyfriend. If you can't communicate with your significant other, then y'all don't need to be together. If y'all can't have open dialogue, then y'all don't need to be together. If you don't know what you need to do in life and make decisions, your best friend isn't your isn't your therapist. I know it feels like that, and you like to share your things with your best friend, but you're going to keep telling your best friend all the fucked up shit that he do, and then she's going to hate that nigga. And now it's going to be awkward when your best friend and that nigga is around each other because she hates this nigga, and you love this nigga's dirty drawers. <laughs> And she mad because you let this nigga do shit that she deem unacceptable to you. But clearly you don't deem it as unacceptable because you still with this nigga. So you should probably shut the fuck up talking to your friend and keep it to yourself. No, or it's never or the tear case. a therapist. It's never the fucking case. No, it's not. But that's what they should do. Shut the fuck up and keep it to themselves. Man, what? Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. I don't even know what you're talking about, Ash. You don't? Nope. I wish it was the camera. <laughs> don't be doing that. <laughs> this nigga do that shit every episode, and I'm sick of it. I'm boycotting that fucking side. Nah, I don't want it on the show no more. <laughs> you better omit some names. Lampshade. I was dealing with this bitch called Lampshade, and I don't give a fuck what you do. You can't be giving me that, because you had to suck in so much air. This I mean, you ran me out of the the thought left. Like you, you talk too long. <laughs> it's gone. So she went on a rant. Mm, 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 but yeah, no. I uh, can't even begin to remember what I, I tried don't think to. I should to your friends about anything. She shouldn't have. She should break up with him. No, this is a good one because I want to bring up the distance and thing. Distance is a long distance relationship. No, I'm saying yeah. Man. I agree in the most part, though. But the other one. Yeah, I'm not yeah. about to go on no girls' day with you. That shit sound like a setup from the jump. I was about to say, I honestly got. Bitch, I'm why like, are you worried nigga, about me? <laughs> realistically, <laughs> you a female. My best friend a female. Damn well, I sent her in. Go in there. Get in there. <laughs> we can chill while you there. You know Get what I'm saying? There. Get in there. I'm I, not about I'm to hang out you by yourself. Like me personally, I never do that shit. But I could see a nigga like, hey, yeah, no, the nigga sent her. her. Yeah, he sent her in. Yeah, he's like, hey, y'all should That's what I was thinking. That's what happened. Get in there. I'm like, that's fucking strange. Hey, yeah, go ahead and tell this bitch what I need. Go talk to her <laughs> one time. I would have dropped both of you them, girl. for real. That's you know. weird. I mean, no, I can't continue this one. You know. Let her know how I like it. What kind of wild shit? How the fuck do you know? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to cook and clean for the nigga. Yeah. Excuse me? <laughs> What was, so y'all dated what? High school? Like what's up here? What, what, Cause that what, do sound like what some. What was y'all together? Oh, I know him very intimately, <laughs> right. and I know the girls that he likes and shit like that. And I know we like. Bitch, you might as well tell me how he like his balls looked at this oh, point. So you was watching that nigga next. draws win. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that's terrible. Out of here. Here's another situation. I was talking slash texting with someone consistently for one week. That's not consistent, but all right. And then for two whole days, I got silence. During those two whole days, he was posting pictures with another girl on social media. Really made stalker. me start to think and question and doubt. She's a stalker. How into me he really is. She's a real stalker. No, he's that texting right. me again. What's the mean of person? I'm not sure. Okay, Early well, don't me because didn't like it. This is the first week, but because of his inconsistency, even though he claims the other girl is just a friend, I'm completely uninterested now. Then don't talk to him. Bitch, you clearly still interested because you wrote it the right. fucking lever. Why are you lying? Why people be lying? I'm not interested I'm anymore. Saying. For the ground. If you weren't interested, then you wouldn't have wrote us a fucking comment. Right, that wouldn't even, this wouldn't, we would never know. We wouldn't be having this conversation because You'd you wouldn't be really going to see John. them. <laughs> yeah, like, what is, what do you, why, that don't even make sense. I'm not interested anymore, but should I go out on a date? What do you mean you're not interested? I thought you weren't interested. So, why would if you, you go on a date? you interested, you wouldn't even question the idea of a date. Like, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I don't care, but what do you guys think I should do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? No, what you want is somebody be like, hey, do it. So you'll feel better about going to do the shit that you're about to do anyways. Yeah, so go on a date. You was looking for the justification. Yeah, right. you might as well go date that nigga. All right, just, just go ahead. It was just a friend. So he could send his best friend in to get you right. <laughs> it was just his friend. And if he said it was his friend, and if y'all had one week of conversation, he can't be busy. And then what if she came in from out of town and... Now he's hanging out with her, and she's just an out-of-town friend. I'm not going to be rude right. and ignore my friend and text you all day. 
while my friend from out of town is here. I mean, so, realistically, that I could have been out of town friend. Mm-hmm. Probably, and I've like only known you days. a week, and so I don't owe you any like real like texting. I've known you right. seven days, bitch, and I haven't even met you yet. Like I'm trying to meet in I've person known now her since kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, that's the story I'm telling you. So you might as well go out with him, sweetheart. This is a good question because it's not. She's dumb. No, this is a good question that I have oh. in my head. Oh, okay. okay. I, I, like, I know she's dumb. <laughs> I thought it was like, nah, I don't know what the fuck <laughs> no. that is. No, nah, because I thought about like the whole distancing dynamic. I was reading about uh, saying my buddy over here, David Dyer, was talking about how men will distance themselves. They'll go off and do whatever the fuck they want to do for however long they need to do it. And women feel really like super rejected by that. And I think, like, how do y'all feel about when y'all go through those phases when y'all might distance yourself? And, you know, is it, like, a personal thing? Or how do y'all feel when y'all go in your little I mean, caves? In the instance, am I, like, really, like... It's very personal. <laughs> it's very personal? Like, towards yeah. the other girl? Well, no, for me, I mean... That's what I'm asking. Is it, like, I don't want to well, be by you right now, so I need three days Yeah, Yes, it feels personal. I, I mean, personal towards another person I'm into ask. That's not personal. No, okay. That's about them. Right. Yeah, personal about somebody else. Mm-hmm. That's like a misnomer. <laughs> yeah, no. no it's, it's about me. It's like how I feel. I don't care about you. Like, mm-hmm. And not even like I don't care about you, but it's I need to distance myself where I'm feeling like I want space or and just a host of things, but it ain't got nothing to do with you. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. What would y'all tell somebody? Do y'all know when y'all about to do that I'm shit? I'm not going to tell you nothing. I, I was about to say, I'm not going to say shit. <laughs> I'm just going to be out. It's about to dip. Yeah, I do that shit all the time. I just... I'll just be less responsive. <laughs> shit me on out there. I like, you respond. might get a couple of <laughs> text messages and things like that, but I'll probably be a little, a lot less responsive. I'll let you know I'm alive. Yeah. I'm cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I learned how to deal with that. Only because, like, ah. Your space. I guess it's time to me. I need my space too. I mean, like, I, I learned how to not take it so personal most anymore. So you just want to talk about it. Yeah. yeah it, 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 it ain't worth talking about. Some shit happened. I feel some type of way about it. I just want to feel some type of way about it. That's understandable. When I'm done feeling, I'll be all right. I think if women heard that part of it, like, it's not you really. Yeah. But what I need. No, 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 no. That's a lie. No? Y'all are, y'all don't take that into consideration. No. But is it like Is it fair just to say Like dang I did feel rejected They can't say that Like it felt like Oh You left And I felt like You didn't want me anymore Okay I mean, you're allowed to Is it still valid you though You're valid In feeling how you feel But me telling you In the interim Hey I want space It has nothing to do with you It's not gonna make you feel like it It has nothing to do with you mm-hmm. You go internalize it And feel like it has something to do with you That's just Yeah Just at least generally With my experience with women yeah, plenty of times I'm like, it, it's not like it's just me. I gotta deal with this myself. And it's like, well, you make me feel like, see, that's that's the issue. Like, not selfish. You feel like, like it's not. It's not yeah, about no, that's you. selfish. Yeah, like it's not about you. This is I just told you it's about me. It's like I gotta yeah, do with I you. I feel sad and depressed. I'm I not. honestly don't want to talk about how you feel like. Right. I'm pushing you away right now. I'm trying to deal with me being sad and depressed and right. you telling me about how you feel is selfish. That's true. Cause I didn't do anything to you. Well you just said about communication is still a selfish? Like she can she can't communicate without that like what I was saying, like she's selfish. It you depends know, on like how you if communicate she, if she it. feels safe coming to you being like, damn, I you know I did feel rejected. You'd be like, mm. <laughs> I mean It's your problem B No you can tell me that mm-hmm. But where do we go from there Play that conversation out How does it go I don't know That's between you and your girl you know No I mean like how would you want the conversation to go What does the guy say to you Realistically. My responsibility in the situation is to not Repress how I feel And just tell you Will I look for you to fix it or anything like that No nah, because I've come to the realization In my emotional like just maturing emotionally and one of the biggest things that I had an issue with was just saying like yo I felt fucked up and I think that my man could acknowledge it and be like yeah you know I'm, I'm sorry I didn't really make you feel that way I just needed time to myself and that'd be it but I'm not sorry hmm. if I 
told you I wanted space and I wanted to be alone. And you interpret that a negative way. I had to be sorry because you interpreted it a, a different way than what I said. Or like, what am I apologizing for, I guess, in that situation? No, I'm asking. I'm, I, I really don't know. So you're like, don't say sorry. I mean, if that's how you handle it, no, I was asking. I was what saying say how sorry? I would do it. Like, I would hope that my partner would. No, say, I'm asking. Yeah, I'm like, sorry. if you don't feel sorry, then don't say sorry. I wouldn't accept a half-ass sorry. You no, don't have to say like, sorry if you don't feel sorry for sorry anything. About is what I'm asking. If you don't feel sorry for anything, I, why you do you don't keep have to say it about me? Like, I don't know why you keep trying to put this on me, and I keep trying to have a general conversation. If no one, if a man or a woman but doesn't feel generally sorry that's about anything, not what I'm asking. I, you said that in your scenario, he says sorry. Mm-hmm. So in your scenario, what is he sorry about? Is what I'm asking. you. I guess for making her feel like, or not making her feel a kind of way. For making her at least, or maybe like, oh, damn, you took that personal. That wasn't my intention. Because is it your intention to go somewhere and be by yourself okay, and make somebody so feel here, bad? Here, 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 though. Let's take it another way. Let's say that happens, right? Mm hmm But then it's like, okay. Let's say I'm like, all right, didn't make the, mean to feel, make you feel that way. I just need my space. I previously stated, it wasn't about you, but most of the time it's like, okay, I said everything I said, I stated how I felt, that was it, right? That's what you wanted. But once again, you internalize it, and you take it negatively, and it, most of the time, I'm not saying that's something you would do, but majority of the time it's like, well, that's not what it is. I did something, and now you feel in some type of way because I'm over here doing this. And I'm not really, like I said, it had nothing to do with you. I'm just doing what I do. Dealing with the situation where I deal with it. So how do I deal with that now? Because now you're feeling some type of way, even though I told you it has nothing to do with you. That's super personal. I feel like I can't give an answer only because I already know how I would handle it. Mm -hmm. I know how most women would handle it. They pitch a fit and do all this other yeah. stuff. But in order to reach some common ground, I don't know. But what should we, we do know. when women pitch a fit? I don't know. You really don't know the answer to that question. If y'all been dealing with this long, I mean, how have you already been doing dealing with it? Oh, I just, I'm not. I just don't. Yeah, no, I'm not letting you. You're not it's, going. You want to throw a fit and just get your way because you feel some type of way. I told you what it was. It w is what it is. Like, it has, n like I said, nothing at all to do with you. If you want to feel some type of way after that, mm -hmm. I have no control of that. I'm not dealing with your bullshit, though. I'm not. Mm. No. I think it's pretty fair to keep the peace for yourself, at least. But yeah. Well, that's all I had. I only had, like, whatever kind of situations that I had <laughs> on my end. Okay. Why not? This has been the. Oh, wow, it was a short one. Look at you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we usually talk about like dive deeper into science. That usually takes like a good chunk, but we didn't dive that deep this week. It's okay. I'm tired. My body hurts. Some weeks are better than others. <laughs> some weeks we don't have car accidents. Facts. That's also true. I'd have probably looked up some more stuff. Or be more interested in like talking about things. Yeah. I, I found something on my phone, but then I didn't even say anything about it. I was like I don't, I don't want to do this. I did, I did. I'm, and I'm, like, oh, I'm not doing this. Like I brought in that was that blob that one time. But anyway, this mm -hmm. been the Conscious Reconstruction Podcast. I've been your host with the most. It's been Ash with all the questions, <laughs> all of them, and the answers, aka the Oracle. <laughs> and we out here with Bitches Jones. Yo, yo, when we out of here. Yeah. Bye. Gang, gang in this bitch.